The second item in the cult checklist is, the group is preoccupied with bringing in new members. This one is easy. Young Mormons are expected to go on a mission for their church when they turn 18. It's almost like conscription for an army, except they're all volunteers who pay their own way. They say they're called, as in, called by God. Even the women are encouraged now to be missionaries. The Mormon church even has a dedicated training center. Of course, the whole point of sending these kids out is to bring new members into the church. Consistent with bringing in new members, another test is that the group is preoccupied with making money. This next clip is from a Mormon general conference, a meeting in Salt Lake City where Mormons congregate biannually to get their marching orders. There is always at least one speech during general conference compelling Mormons to tithe, to give 10% of their pre-tax earnings to the Mormon church, even though the church is a huge corporate empire and already has billions of dollars. I want each of you to know that if you always pay an honest tithing, the Lord will bless you. It will be the best investment you will ever make. Third on the checklist, questioning, doubt, and dissent are discouraged. We've already seen what a high-ranking leader in the Mormon church said about this. It's wrong to criticize leaders of the church, even if the criticism is true. Probably the most famous recent case is that of Dr. D. Michael Quinn. According to a story that appeared in the Wall Street Journal, Dr. Quinn was excommunicated for, among other things, his public criticism of the church for limiting dissent. You can go through the rest of the cult checklist yourself to see if Mormonism is a cult. You may want to Google for Mormon temple ceremony to see what goes on in there as it pertains to item 4. And you may want to go to WikiLeaks to read the church handbook of instructions. There, you can read how Mormon leadership asserts the right to call and release its members from service to the church, which is item 11 on the cult checklist. So is Mormonism a cult, as Sharon Angle's former pastor said? Apparently, Harry Reid thinks so, since he thinks he can so easily influence his Republican brothers and sisters in Nevada. It'll be interesting to see how they vote this November.